Hey guys, and welcome back to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace of November 2023. This month, once again, we've got access to five amazing assets free for this month only, but you get to keep them permanently afterwards. And we've got the modular Gothic Fantasy Environment, Survivor's Roguelike Multiplayer Game Template, the Defender Animated Dialogue System, Grocery Store Props Collection, and the Low Poly Town. So I'm going to be covering these, showcasing them, and showing them off and obviously link them in the description down below to where you can get them. So without further ado, let's get into it, starting with the modular gothic fantasy environment. So this is an optimized, versatile, and modular gothic fantasy environment with soaring spires and large structures. The modular pieces give huge architectural variety, perfect for your next RPG or fantasy game. So this features modular meshes, which is absolutely perfect for building your own scenes using this asset pack, Trim sheet construction with interchangeable materials, vertex paintable materials for variation, and a third person character with custom cinematic camera mode. So you'll notice this on screen in the video, it's the old mannequin from UE4. That's because they've said this environment was made in UE4, however it will still work perfectly fine in UE5, and you can add on lumen and all that stuff as well. So in total there are 63 unique meshes, all of which have collision and automatically generated LODs. There are 6 master materials, 34 material instances, 1 material parameter collection for snow and seasons, and 1 material function for snow. There are 90 textures, with the resolutions being 512 to 4K and 4 blueprints, as well as 2 fully explorable demo scenes, which are day and night. So I think this one looks absolutely fantastic, and I would definitely recommend getting it. Next up is the Survivor's Roguelike Multiplayer Game Template. So this is a template ready for customization to create your own co-op Survivor's Roguelike game. So this is the ultimate game template for creating your own thrilling multiplayer experiences. Designed using 100% blueprints, this versatile asset comes packed with an array of features to help you create your dream game in no time at all. So again, this is 100% blueprint, it's got co-op multiplayer ready, it includes a save and load system, six examples of active and passive abilities, an ability evolution system, spawning, level up and ability systems, a chest and stash pickup, simple main menu and lobby system, and also characters, abilities, maps, enemy spawns and elite spawns are all managed through data tables for ease of information management. So in total there are over 50 blueprints, the input is keyboard and mouse, and this is obviously network replicated. So I think this is great again, if you want to be creating a multiplayer game with a survivor roguelike. And next we have the Defender Animated Dialogue System, and I think this could work really well with the previous asset pack as well. I think they would work well together. So this is an easy to use and very flexible dialogue creator with typewriter text animation, different choices, triggering events, bubble above characters, text formatting, gamepad support, cinematic mode, and much, much more. So this allows you to easily create dialogues using data tables, create dialogue branches with stat requirements, add audio to dialogue rows, continue from certain row when the dialogue restarts, trigger events from the level blueprint and dialogue, add waypoints to NPCs, and much more. It features 100% blueprints and well commented. It's got educational blueprint design with a lot of examples, full gamepad support, partitioned save and load systems, event driven systems to optimize logic so there's no need to make heavy casting operations between blueprints, NPC AI with behavior trees and again so so much more. In total there are 90 blueprints and 25 widget blueprints and the input is keyboard and mouse and gamepad with game and UI support and this is not network replicated. Next we've got the grocery store props collection. So this is a prop collection package made in a realistic style. Not much to say about this one, as it is, you can obviously see what it is you're getting. This environment package contains various props with a grocery store theme. It includes store shelving, refrigerators and freezers, cash registers, groceries, security office assets, duct lighting, electrical wiring and ventilation, restroom facilities and warehouse assets. Essentially, imagine walking into a grocery store, that's what you're going to get in this pack. In total, there are 429 unique meshes all of which have collision and LODs, and the text resolutions are 1K, 2K, and 4K. And finally, last but not least, we have the low poly town. 
So I think I've covered this one on the channel before, but basically it includes more than 150 different models of houses, walls, barrels, lamps, fences, street lights, cars and more. There's a variety of many props to choose from. Landscape, ground and grass textures, birds flying animation, a demo map and an overview map, and mobile friendly assets. So if you wanted to make a mobile game, this would be perfect for that. There are also modular wall, road, fence and electrical poles. Shared materials can be altered to create more colour options. You can achieve all sorts of different looks. It's great for RPG, FPS, third person and top down games. And it works great for different game genres. In total there's 152 unique meshes, all of which have custom or automatically generated collision. The triangle count ranges from 10 up to 2300 and there are no LODs. There are 10 materials and material instances with 13 textures with the text resolutions being 256, 512 and 1K. I once again think this one looks absolutely great. So with that, that will be this video covering this month's monthly free assets for November 2023. We're getting to the end of the year now, next month will be the last one for this year. And I think my favourite one this month is the modular gothic fantasy environment. Let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one is for this month as well. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just covering and showing off these asset packs. And if you did find it helpful and enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me in the channel a lot. So thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.